Today I wanted to talk about downloading files from EDA Playground and I'm going to talk about both downloading the code and then downloading uh, any result files. So over here I have a simple uh, Verilog example that runs in Icarus. It, uh, it also dumps waves so this is a working example and uh, for demonstration purposes I'm going to add another file. I'll call it input.txt and here uh, I'm just going to write some dummy code or dummy data. Um, and uh, in order to download files, all you need to do is uh, check this checkbox on the left here. And when you run the simulation, the simulation will run. And at the end, uh, it's going to create this result.zip file. And I'm going to open it up. And this zip, zip file is going to have the following things. First of all, it's going to have all your code files. So it's going to have this test bench and design files. Uh, in addition, it's going to have this input.txt file that I just created. And then it's going to have any of your output files. In this case, um, a dump.vcd was generated, but uh, the code could be generating other log files or other output files. So they're going to be there as well. Um, and then another thing I wanted to mention is if there's a syntax error in your code, for some reason it doesn't run, uh, let's just uh, put in a dummy syntax error. So if you still, if you run, um, the files will be uh, created and you can uh, you can download those files. In this case of course the output's not there because uh, the code didn't get that far. So let's let's demonstrate another one. Let's show um, an SV unit example. Let's do a a UVM scoreboard here with SV unit. And uh, if you're not familiar with SV unit, don't worry about it. This is just an example of downloading files. I'm going to check this checkbox and I'm going to run and the reason I'm showing this uh, here is that SVUnit generates some intermediate files. And another thing is we are using a different simulator here. Last time we used Icarus, this time it's model sim. And if you open .zip file, it has a lot more files here. It's got the two files, test suite and test runner, that are specifically for SVUnit. And then uh, you've got the design and uh, test bench. And then you've got a bunch of these intermediate files, including the, the work directory that's specific for model sim. So let's go on to synthesis. Let's open up a, um, a MyGen example. Here's a divider. Um, and in this divider, uh, we have the top class specified. So we're going to synthesize this divider. And let's select uh, Yossi's synthesis tool. And once again, let's check the download files. And let's run the synthesis. So initially, it's going to uh, run some Python code to actually create, create the um, uh, very log files to be synthesized and then it's going to run the, the flow and if we open up the results we're going to see that in addition to the design and test bench Python files we have these intermediate uh, files that were created by the synthesis flow. Alright that concludes for today thank you for watching